guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a pantry tour, fridge tour, and like meal plan. I'm making out this massive grocery list because we have so much stuff that we need to stock back up on in the pantry that we're just running low on literally everything. So Sunday's video, I will not be staying on budget at all. So if you wanna see a big grocery haul, check out Sunday's video as well. I'm filming this on Tuesday, you guys are gonna be seeing this tomorrow. But yeah, I want to show you kind of like what it's looking like. It's basically like a desert up in the pantry right now. <laughs> um, show you the fridge and freezer. And then once I show you that, um, I'm going to get out my notebook. I'm going to have to use my big notebook today because there's a lot of shit I got to write down. Um, so I'm going to make my list. And then I'm going to make two separate lists. A pantry list and then just my regular sh uh, shopping list. Hope you guys enjoy this video. The first thing I'm going to do is let's go ahead and head into my pantry, which is not really a pantry, but it's what we call our pantry. <laughs> um, and then we will get to writing that list out and meal planning. All right, guys. So this is what I consider our pantry. We have this big cupboard next to our fridge, and we also have a closet down there that I'm going to be redoing, or not redoing, but turning into our pantry, but that's probably not going to be for a while. So... This is what we're working with right now. These actually pull out, which is pretty awesome, and they're actually really deep. So um, that bottom shelf, I use it kind of like for my sister's stuff, so that's her drawers. We're not gonna worry about that one. But down here, also Finley, I'm having him play a game right now, so if you hear that, <laughs> don't mind it. Um, anyway, I'm gonna be moving this rice container. It's kind of taking up. This is like my noodle pasta rice drawer right now <laughs> um so in here i just kind of want to get a peek of what we have because i am going to make that large list so just kind of see what we got also i'm going to make a third list i said two but i'm going to make three i'm going to make a costco list as well but we're not probably going to go to costco for a couple weeks because um my husband has to do a costco haul for the firehouse so we'll probably do that at the same time which will be in a couple weeks so we don't need anything from there right now but we will Anywho, back to this. So we have some hot chocolate. This is like basically empty, so I can probably toss it, honestly. Um, soy sauce, teriyaki. I like to keep a lot of dressings and things on hand. Um, this oyster sauce was for a recipe, so maybe I should do something with that. Some trimmer dressing, peanuts, olives, some extra mayo. We have yellow cake, brownies, stuffing. My husband went through like a stuffing kick and <laughs> so we have so much stuffing and also cornbread. But we have a big thing of Costco cornbread in that closet down there, so. Okay, so this drawer I like to do breakfast foods, cereals, pancake, oatmeal, syrup, all that good stuff. It's looking pretty sad, that's all the cereal. We're not huge cereal people, but my husband does eat cereal from time to time. Um, he wanted to keep these for Rice Krispie treats, so I gotta put marshmallows on the list. Katie, if you're watching this, put that on the list. <laughs> or future Katie, I should say. Um, this one's almost gone, so I'll probably combine these. There's another one back here. More pancake mix. Um, I'll probably put this on the Costco list. We won't need this for a couple weeks, but their syrup is really good. Um, and I also have real maple syrup in the fridge right there too. Um, this is also pancake mix. This is the one from Costco, the um, Krusties. So I'm gonna put this on the Costco list, that on the Costco list. And I think what I'm gonna do is the stuff that we have like a ton of once we do go to Costco, um, we have duplicates of, or I can fill like this up and put the rest down there. I think this is gonna be like our, um, not overhaul, what's the word I'm thinking of? Overflow, yes. That's gonna be like our overflow cabinet, I think. And then like chips and stuff, and diapers, wipes, all that. But anyway, so this is the bottom part, so I'm gonna close these. So now I kinda know what I'm working with here. I do really wanna try to focus on using the things up in the pantry. Um, like, if you see back here, there's like a little bit, half a bag of egg noodles, this brown rice, there's like a bag or two maybe in there that we can use up for the week. Um, this has like a tiny bit of noodles, and then I have a huge two pound thing back there. Um, another thing for Costco is going to be popcorn. Their popcorn's so good and it's such a good price. Um, we do have our little movie nights. Okay, so here, cereal's up here. I'm not entirely sure why. <laughs> um, and then up here, we just have some extra salsa, extra ketchup, 
Um, my husband got this from Aldi, the Sloppy Joe mix, which we never eat Sloppy Joes, but we have it. <laughs> so maybe we should use that up. Um, some apple cider vinegar, which could actually go in my baking cabinet, I think. Um, some more salsa, tuna, olive garden dressing, which I think I have to use up here soon. Ah, uh, this is already bad. Oh, damn. I mean, I wonder how bad it actually is. It's only been a couple weeks. I bet you it's fine. Maybe I'll do a recipe of that. Then we have some almonds, and then this shelf. I have a free coupon for another thing of, or I think a free peanut butter from Pick and Save, which is Kroger. Um, some chicken, cream of mushroom. We have no cream of, of chicken soup left. I used that up a couple days ago. Um, my husband got this literally like when we moved in here, just to have like. Remember when? If you guys haven't seen it, I sent my husband to the grocery shopping and this is the stuff he brought home <laughs> which we don't usually eat because I try not to eat too much you know processed stuff but oh this is so good for a while okay so peanut butter back there we have some black beans we have two things of crumbs breadcrumbs um, this is for a recipe I'm making tonight. I'm going to be filming a cook and clean with me for my enchiladas tonight. So look out for that. That will be a bonus video, I believe. Uh, I got pizza sauce, some peaches, and tomato sauce. So that's literally like, it's all we got going on in this pantry right now, guys. We are low, low, low. So let me show you. I'm going to shut this. I'm going to show you guys our fridge really quick. Um, that has chicken in it, chicken breast that I'm going to be using for dinner tonight, so that will be gone. We got some corn, mashed potatoes back there. We got some cinnamon rolls, sour cream I have to put on the list. Crescent rolls, which are for dinner, we'll use up. Some green peppers. Um, this is looking pretty sad, honestly. We don't have any shredded cheese besides this that my sister picked up the other day <laughs> um, to get us three, through until the end of the week. Um, we had Chinese food last night. So we have that, some strawberries, a sad little piece of pizza. Some Brussels sprouts, like a half a bag. I used the other half for dinner. I have a little bit of blueberries. This is an apple I've been using in my oatmeal. Let's see. Uh, some sweet potato, mashed sweet potato I made the other day. Some sausages. I think we have like two eggs, so that's got to go on my list. We got some green onion, uh, zucchini, a bit of lettuce. Let's see here. This is mostly my sister's right here. Actually, this is all my sister's minus the Fanta we had with pizza the other night. And then in here is the, this is my kid's snack drawer. <clears throat> so this allows Finley to open the fridge and be able to get things for himself, which is amazing and super helpful. Um, I'm actually going to be getting new mandarin oranges because these taste terrible. So I'm just going to toss them and they're on sale this week at Aldi. Um, there's one little pouch for Allie left, which she's been eating a ton of yogurt. So the little probiotic ones, if you guys watch any of my grocery hauls, they're like always in there. I get them from Meyer. Um, quite a bit of yogurt left, but Finley's really been enjoying yogurt, so I might pick up some more. Maybe that would be like a Costco find in a couple weeks, because this will probably last him. And then some sad looking grapes I gotta use up. And then down here, yes, this is very disgusting and I need to clean my fridge. Um, my sister's celery, beets, cucumber, this is all my sister's stuff. So we are out of like quite a bit. Um, over here, it's really gross, you guys. I should just be cleaning this, just period. Um, this garlic is almost out. So I'll probably get this at, probably Costco. I'll put this on the Costco list because I don't know if I'll need it before then, but this is actually moonshine. <laughs> um, this is the real maple syrup. We got some pickles back there. Plenty of cream cheese. I think these are... So I may put bagels on the list so Justin can use up the strawberry. Um, this is almost empty, this whipped cream cheese. We have one stick of butter left and one normal cream cheese, like a block of cream cheese. Down here, the regular ranch is almost out so I'll probably buy a couple for the pantry. Um, I've been really preferring this uh, Bolt House Farms yogurt ranch. Come on, focus. Um, and I have another one back there because they're about to get them free if you guys saw that haul. Um, this is my sister's, so now in the freezer. Um, this is mostly everything. We have a couple things in the outside freezer, but honestly, not really. <laughs> this is completely cleared out, which I think the fridge guy came back and actually fixed our ice machine, so it has ice again. Exciting. Um, my sister has these little 
these little spinach chips. We're just gonna put those up there. Um, and then we have our bread. Um, let's see, so we got stir fry veggies, which uh, we can use up by Thursday. We got a bag of hash, bag and a half of hash browns, some broccoli, chicken nuggets definitely got to be on my list. I think I'm gonna put that on my Costco list too. Um, we got some popsicles back there. We've been using bag of ice because this has been broken, so we have that. Um, I bought some cherries for drinks on yours. Still have some of those. Frozen go-gurts. Um, it's a lot of my sister's stuff right there, her frozen meat. Um, raviolis, which my kiddos love, so I'm gonna put that on the list. Meatballs, and then down here is like usually, this is where, here we go. This is where the chicken nuggets and chicken products live. Chicken fries, popcorn chicken. Um, my daughter loves these veggie fries. Um, some tater tots, and then over here, this is my sister, she has some zoodles, turkey burgers, pumpkin waffles from Trader Joe's I gotta use up. These are actually really yummy. Um, I bought these from Aldi, I can finish those up probably the next couple days. And then the last thing is just this garlic chicken for like a quick lunch. So that is everything. If I would arrange this, I probably could fit a whole lot more in here, but. That is the pantry and fridge Okay, yes. I'm sitting here on my couch. I okay, so I have my list here. I got these in like a pack of 10, I think, on Amazon for like, maybe it was like 20 for like 10 bucks. So they're all different like fruits and whatever. So I'm gonna use this for, this is like my normal groceries. Um, this might be a Costco list, we'll see. And I also got this big notebook that I'm going to do like my, maybe I'll do my pantry Costco, I don't know, we'll see. But I'm gonna meal plan here quick. And to do that, I am going um, to use an app called Flip. And this has all of the ads for where I like to go shopping. I heart Meyer, um, Pick and Save, which is Kroger, Meyer, again, Walmart, Aldi, Target. So those are the main places I go shopping. Um, this week, I'm gonna be going to Aldi. Um, and I'll get a lot of pantry stuff there because they're like cream of chicken soup or, you know, all that stuff's by far the cheapest there, if not at Walmart, but I don't think I'm gonna be going to Walmart this week. And then I'll probably head to Meyer too because they have really good deals this week on chicken and meat. And Aldi has really good deals on chicken as well. Not so much the meat, maybe like steak because it's Valentine's Day this weekend. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go through here really quick and then I'm gonna start writing down my list. And once I start doing the list, um, I'll put the camera down so you guys can see me doing it, but yeah. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm done with my meal plan and I went through Pinterest and I already kind of checked out the ads for what's on sale for the week at both Meyer and Aldi. So I kind of have a good idea of like chicken and beef and stuff. Um, so on Thursday, and also I leave out the days that my husband is working because I generally eat like leftovers or something really simple with the kids on those days. So Thursday and Friday, I'm gonna do an oven baked Parmesan and we could have these in different orders, but this is just kind of, I wanted to plan for this amount of meals for the next week. Um, we're gonna do like an oven baked Parmesan. I'll probably do that over zoodles and I'll make noodles for my family. Um, we're gonna be doing Caesar chicken, which is a recipe I saw on Pinterest. And we'll probably do that maybe with like um, the stuffing or something I saw in the pantry and then a veggie. Sunday's Valentine's Day and me and my husband are actually going out to dinner on Valentine's Day and my sister's staying with the kiddos. So don't need to plan for that. I'm gonna do a baked potato soup. I'm gonna do paninis one of the days. And then I've been seeing everyone make those wraps with those big old burrito wraps, like the TikTok wraps, where you like cut it into quadrants and put it down there. So maybe we'll do like a taco, like crunch wrap type of thing. Um, so I'm gonna do that. So now what I'm gonna do is make my grocery list. I'm gonna start with my basic list and then do my pantry list and then get into my Costco list. And that should do it. This is probably gonna be a really long video, so sorry about that. <laughs> you are 
walk through the door I'm hit by the same old side Blinded by the lights And I'm going through changes But it's easier with you I'm going through changes And so Okay guys, I pretty much finished up my list. I'm probably gonna add a few more things here um, throughout the next couple days because I'm making this on Tuesday. I'm not gonna go shopping for another two days, so I'm sure there's gonna be stuff I think of. <laughs> um, but this is the basic stuff we need for the house. And then also I know that there's some things that I can't get at Aldi that I'm gonna get at Meijer. I'm um, like healthier bread. Um, I like the Dave Killer bread, so I'm gonna get that. The deli meat, I prefer just because they have a deli there. So. Um, and I know their deli meats on sale this week. I need to get both mine and Justin's body wash. I prefer to get that from Meyer. Um, the coffee I prefer to get there. Um, Allie's yogurt, the little Chobani probiotic pouches. And then goldfish. Um, they haven't really had a ton of goldfish options at Aldi. Like they have their little penguins, which I don't mind. Um, and then they have goldfish, but I want to get like um, individually wrapped for like easy <laughs> easiness for being in the car with the kids. So I'm going to get that at Meyer because they have a good section of those little convenience type snacks. And then pantry, um, I have to go back and look at this, my video of what I was talking about when I was showing you guys. But I'm, I put ranch, the cream, cream of soups, cereal, um, green beans, like cans of green beans, cans of peaches, spaghetti sauce, noodles, mac and cheese, which eventually I put on the Costco list, which I'll show you guys in a sec. But... Um, I know I'm forgetting things, so I'm going to go back here and, oh yeah, excuse me, which I already forgot something on here. Okay, so for Costco, which won't, here Finley, <laughs> which won't be for at least a couple of weeks, um, we're going to need toilet paper, cat litter, applesauce pouches, pirates, booty, dishwasher soap, English muffins, water and drinks, chicken nuggets, fins, go-gurts, meatballs, detergent, apple juice, goldfish, eventually we're going to want a bigger quantity of that. Um, their big bag of broccoli, peanut butter, oil, like avocado oil or um, EVOO, <laughs> if you will. Um, and then eventually I'll get mac and cheese from there. Um, Hard-boiled eggs, bacon, butter, Himalayan salt, and fig bars. I know there's more Costco staples I'm forgetting, but this is the list, guys. And like I said, I definitely probably forgot a few things, so I'm going to have to go back. But... Yeah, oh, one more thing for Costco is kids' Tylenol because teething. I have the sun right over my head right now. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different than my typical video I do, so um, it's just something I knew I had to do today. So when I was trying to think of the video that I wanted to do, I was like, oh, I should just like do my meal planning and you know show you all what I have in my fridge and freezer and all that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Stay tuned for Sunday's video with this big old haul. I'm kind of scared about what we're going to spend, but I kind of already figured that because I only spent $31 last week. So we have quite a bit of leftover in the monthly food budget to go towards this. So anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you very soon. And oh, also keep a lookout on Friday. I'm posting my 1K giveaway video, um, details on that, how to enter, things like that. So stay tuned for that video as well. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.